So when we understand ourselves, we can stand under ourselves. In this continuing conversation about just that, I thought I would bring in uh, the topic of inner conflicts in relation to standing under ourselves. So we all know what conflict is. We've, we're experiencing it right now as, as we've talked about all these feelings coming up for us in the silence. And we don't need a pandemic to feel conflicted. It happens every day. It's just a matter of how we respond to it. So a lot of things that I'll hear is again, pretty human and pretty typical, right? We have a decision we make, we're conflicted about something. And I hear everything like, I'm inept, I can't make a decision to save my life. Why should I even be making this decision? I'll probably screw it up. Why can't I decide what's wrong with me? I'm not aggressive enough, I'm not assertive enough. Other people would just make a decision and go for it. You know, we've all done that. Except there's another way to, <laughs> to see this. And that is about having compassion for ourselves, understanding the process and why we're feeling conflicted. In short, we're feeling conflicted because we're making valid points about both things that we're trying to decide on. Let's say we're trying to decide whether we should stay in the career that we have or that we should take a leap and go for the career we've always wanted. And, you know, we say, well, I should stay where I'm at because it's safe and I have my salary and I know the work and um, I have my benefits. That's really important. And if I take a leap, if I go into the career that I want, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I don't know how it's gonna go. And that's pretty risky. I, I, need, I need to know that I'm gonna be safe. Pretty valid points, I'd say. And that's how I typically respond is, you know, they're both right. They're both right. They both bring up really valid points. You want to be safe and secure. And at the same time, you want to live your greatest potential and take a risk and do the thing that you really want to do and hope that it's going to work out. And that's how I'll respond, you know? They're both right, both selves. And by that, this is what I mean, both selves. I talk about ourselves as a, as a community, as a, a microcosm of selves, a community of selves who are all in there making decisions on our behalf to keep us alive, to keep us in homeostasis, balance, right? And to help us to live our potential. So yay for this whole little community, this whole, this whole system. Let's say a circle is 360 degrees, a whole circle. And so let's say that we're made of 360 selves, 360 selves that are in the spirit of wanting us to be whole, like a circle, wanting to keep us alive, wanting to keep us in harmony and balance and wanting us to reach our full potential. Yay. It's great that we have this community working on our behalf to do all three things. Sometimes they're all in, all in unison. You know, we're all up for getting up and brushing our teeth. All right. And let's say, uh, Let's say uh, 300 of the selves are all in for going to the office, going to work, uh, but 60 of ourselves want to go on vacation. <laughs> we all know what that's like, but unfortunately, or fortunately, the, the majority wins, so you go to work. But let's say it's something like 50-50 and you can't decide and it's like a tennis match trying to decide which way you're going to go. Well, that's where we, we practice compassion. To that, I'd say, you know, 50% of yourselves 
wants you to be safe. Is looking out for your financial security. The other 50%, <laughs> she's ready to go. She's ready to take that chance. She's ready to live your full potential. And she knows you can do it. They're both valid points. They're both valid perspectives. I can see why it's a difficult decision. But instead of beating yourself up and saying you can't make a decision to save your life, or that you shouldn't be making a decision, you shouldn't be making this decision because you can't make a decision, is just, you know, being, being hard on yourself, being punitive being self-hating as opposed to being compassionate. And, and when, when I say, when we understand ourselves, we can stand under ourselves. You know what that looks like? That looks like, I can't make a decision right now. I trust that what I'm going through, what I'm feeling right now is valid. That both sides are making valid points, both decisions, both choices have valid points to them. And I suppose when I have enough information to move the needle one way or the other, I'll do that when I'm ready. Until then, I'm gonna practice compassion. I'm gonna be gentle with myself. I'm not gonna be cruel to myself. I'm not gonna beat myself up, telling myself what I should do. That's not helpful. You know, like Carrie Bradshaw, you don't wanna be shooting all over yourself. That doesn't move the needle. That just That's just designed to hurt and to create expectations that, you know, we're not we're not there yet. So kindness, understanding. I know myself. I know I'll make an informed decision when I'm ready. And the community that's working on helping me with this, they all make really valid points. The selves that are looking out for our security and our safety, that's, yeah, I understand that. And the selves that are more assertive, more aggressive, and who want to take a chance, they're right too. When, we, when we're at 49 to 51%, 49 wanting to change and 51% wanting to stay the same, okay with the status quo and wanting to live for safety, that's quite a conflicting place to be. But as soon as that 49 ticks over to 50 and then 51%, the self that wants to take a chance is now in, is now the majority of selves. Now, when, when we're that conflicted, of course, when we make the decision, we're still gonna feel uncomfortable because the minority self is going to be kicking and screaming. 49% is gonna be saying, wait a second, wait a second, we need safety, we need security. I, I don't like this idea, it's too risky. And the 51%, the majority is going to have compassion, like a good parent and say, I hear you, you're right, I hear everything you're saying. And they're completely valid points. You have kept me alive and you've kept me safe all these years and I know that that's important. We're still doing it because <laughs> the 51% is in, the assertive self is in control now but we also know we're going to be safe. We know that we're going to be secure in this decision and that we'll be able to, you know, fall back on ourselves if we need to. We're going to be okay no matter what. And that's what I say to people that I work with is, you know, how can you make a decision based on both factions, both selves? How can you move forward and do something that you love to do and that has a degree of risk to it? And how can you tend to the other selves that want safety and security? How can you, like, like an effective parent, how can you listen to both of your children? How can you validate both of them and then provide for both of them? And so when we finally do make a decision Th that self or selves that are in in the majority will be able to say we got this I hear you I know it's like it's like holding a child's hand and saying I know you're scared I get this 
safety is important. And, and we're going to be okay. We've, we've considered that, and that's, it's going to be all right. Even if it doesn't work out, we're going to be okay. And that's how you can, that's what it means to be interconflicted. It's, we can beat ourselves up and really take ourselves, put ourselves through the ringer, or we can have compassion for ourselves and understanding of ourselves that we're going to be okay and we're going to make the most effective decisions for ourselves and that ourselves are working on behalf of us. And that it's okay to have differing opinions and feelings and needs. It's okay. And as the parent of all of those selves, you're going to listen to all of them, validate all of them, and then make a decision based on all of that feedback. So when we understand ourself, in this sense, when we understand all 360 degrees of ourself, we can then make the most informed decisions for ourself and be gentle with ourselves at the same time. I love that. 